Hello guys, we have seen the algorithm for converting in fix expression into its post fix form in the last video. Now let's implement program for it. So when I implement program, I will make use of stack which is already implemented. So stack is there for integers and it has functions like constructor is there, push function is there, pop function is there, its full function is empty function. Now let me add one more function here which is pip function. So int pip. Now what is pip operation? Pip operation will return the topmost element of stack but it will not decrement the top value after the element is returned. That means the difference between pop and pip is pop will return the topmost element and it will decrement the top value. And pip will return the topmost element but it will not decrement the top value. So that is the only difference. So I will write down the definition for pip. So I will copy the pop definition and change name and here it will be only return ARR of top. I will not decrement after I return. So that is the only difference. Now in the main function I will write my program. So what I am supposed to do? I am supposed to take infix expression from the user so that will be the input which is string input so user will enter some infix string so I need to declare one character array of some size to store the infix, infix expression I will convert that expression into the postfix form so that will be the result and to store the result also I will need one more array and I will declare two integers i, z which will be counters which I will use whenever ne whenever they are necessary. So now what I am supposed to, uh, supposed to do? I will take input from the user. So suppose let me print enter infix string or enter infix expression. Then I will store that in infix array after that after that what was the algorithm that we have seen in the last video what was the first step the first step was add opening bracket at the beginning of this input string and closing bracket at the end of the input string so for that I have to write code so infix in, in, in string infix I need to add two characters one opening bracket at the beginning and closing bracket at the end so when I add those characters first I have to add the closing bracket that means first I need to go to the end of infix string so while infix of i not equals to null character so i is counter which is initialized to 0 I will say i plus plus so this will take me to the end of the string so even no need to write these brackets I will write here itself infix of i++ plus plus not equals to null character so this will take me to the end of the array after that after that I will first shift the null character one position right so it will be infix of i plus 1 equals to null character and infix of i will be closing bracket so at the end I have added closing bracket then after that again while loop now I will traverse from right to left that means I will I, I will write something like this while i is greater than 0 infix of i equals to infix of i minus 1 so here it will be minus minus I need to decrement i once I'm applying the logic and after that 
at zeroth position that means when when i will reduce to zero so at zeroth position i need to add the opening bracket so in fix of i after this while loop i will reduce to zero so in fix of i equals to opening bracket so this code will add two brackets one bracket at the end and one bracket at the beginning so let me check whether it is doing so so i will print the infix to cross check so see out infix end l so g++ stack.cpp main.cpp i will compile dot slash a dot out let me give some input a plus b something is wrong okay here i minus minus i have to write i am not decrementing the value of i okay now let me check so input is a plus b yes so output is with the parenthesis at the beginning and the end so first step is done so now the input is fully parenthesized now what was the next thing in the algorithm so i will scan the input string from beginning to end so for that let me reset i to 0 so it is already 0 but still i am writing it once again i equals to 0 and after that i will scan the string character by character so it is in fix of i not equals to null character and inside the block of while at the end i write i plus plus now here now here what i am supposed to do i will check what is the character which is scanned and depending on what is the character i will perform certain action that means if it is opening bracket i will push it onto the stack if it is closing bracket i will pop all the elements from the stack and add them to the output till i do not get the opening bracket so there are different steps that we have already seen in the last video so let's let's uh, write code for them so first is if it is opening bracket that means if in fix of i equa equals to single code opening bracket then what i am supposed to do i will add it onto the stack so if it is opening bracket push it onto the stack so for that I, I need to create one stack object stack class object so i declare it over here stack s1 so i will push that onto the s1 object so s1 dot push in fix of i then else if so this is for if the character inside the input string is operand that means it is between a to z so suppose i write this condition in fix of i greater than equals to a and in fix of i less than equals to z so if it is operand then this block is there if it is operator so i will write one more else if for this else if the condition will be now when i write the condition for operators i need to consider which operators i am going to use in my input string so it may be plus minus multiplication division so as of now i am implementing implementing the code only for four operators plus minus multiplication division if you want you can take into the consideration few more operators it's up to you so in fix of i equals to zero the condition will be in fix of i equals to zero or in fix of i equals to sorry in fix of i equals to plus or in fix of i equals to minus or in fix of i equals to multiplication or in fix of i equals to division So this, this else if will get execute when the character in the input string is operator and one more case else if one more else if for input character equal equals to the closing bracket. So either of these four things will get execute either it will be opening bracket or it will be operand or it will be operator or it is closing bracket 
so for opening bracket i have already written the code if it is opening bracket then i will directly push that onto the stack now what i am supposed to do if it is operand so we know that if it is operand then i will add that into the output string so which is the output string output string is post fix this array i will store the output in this array and for that i will make use of some other counter which is z so let me initialize z variable to 0 and now if it is operand that means here I will say post fix of z plus plus equals to infix of i. So I am adding that into the post fix string which is output. Z plus plus is written z plus plus is written so that next time it will store at the next location. So this will be second else if now this else if it's slightly complex the code here will be slightly complex so here if it is an operator then I, what I am supposed to do if it is an operator then I need to check the top of the stack now if again top of the stack contains some another operator then I need to check the precedence of the current operator which is inside the infix string and operator which is onto the top of the stack and if if the precedence of operator onto the top of stack is greater than the current or equal to current then I need to pop it out add them into the output and then I will push the current operator onto the stack so that thing I need to write here so for that I need to check the precedence so how to check the precedence of the operator now for checking precedence there is no built-in function available so I have to write some function which will give me some integer number depending on the precedence that means in case of these four operators plus minus multiplication division precedence of plus and minus is same and multiplication division is also same and between them multiplication division has higher precedence than plus minus so what I will do I for checking the precedence I write one function suppose this is the function int find precedence is the function so this what this function does this function will take one operator as input which is a char ch this is this argument is nothing but the operator and depending on what that operator is it will return some integer value so that integer value will be one two three four depending on precedence so suppose here i check what is the character ch that is what is the operator and depending on that i write four cases case one is there case two sorry it will be case plus it will be operator inside the ch so it will be either case plus or case minus then case multiplication and case division now in case plus and case minus uh, priority or precedence for plus and minus is same so case plus and case minus will return single number which is say return one so if it is plus minus precedence is one and if it is multiplication division precedence is two so here it will be return two so either of the statement will get execute depending on what is the operator and that value will come inside the main now what i will do inside this else if if it is operator then check whether stack has operator onto its top so for that i will say while so till the stack has operator onto its top that means while s1 dot pip equals to plus or s1 dot pip equals to minus or s1 dot pip equals to multiplication or s1 dot pip equals to division that means till the top has operator here it will be minus multiplication and division if precedence of operator onto the top of stack that means if find precedence of s1 dot peep 
is greater than find precedence of infix of i that means the integer value associated with operator onto the top of stack is greater than the integer value which is associated with infix of i then i will pop the element from stack i will pop the uh, I, I will pop the operator from stack and i will add it into the output so it will be postfix of z plus plus equals to s1 dot pop else if that precedence is not greater than the pre precedence of the current operator then i will break the loop simply so else break so this will be the code in this block this else if block okay and now last else if, else if block if the input character character into the input string is closing bracket then in that case i will pop out all the elements till i do not get the opening bracket and i will add them onto the output so for that ch equals to now say ch is a character while ch equals to s1 dot pop not equals to opening bracket so till i do not get the opening bracket output of z plus plus equals to ch it's post fix not output post fix is the name of the array okay let me declare the ch variable which is character so i will declare it here char ch now i think the code is complete and let me try to run the code so here i will print a post fix string and i will compile and run now so it will be g plus plus stack dot cpp main dot cpp it is getting compiled now if i run a plus b okay a b and after that some garbage this is because i did not append the null character at the end so here before i print the value i have to say post fix of c equals to backslash zero append null character at the end a plus b output is a b plus is not getting printed something is left okay here i did not push the current operator onto the stack that means i have popped out all the operators which were having greater or equal to precedence than current operator but after that i am supposed to push current operator onto the stack so it will be s1 dot infix of i s1 dot push infix of i and when i compare the precedence it is greater than equals to here okay now compile it run it a plus b yes it is giving the output a b plus is a post fix form so let me run it for a few more examples a into b plus c so it is a b into c plus correct then a plus b divided by c minus t so it's a b plus c d minus division at the end so output is correct so this program is running so this is how you will convert infix expression into its postfix form so go to the code and understand how did i implement it if you like the video please like the video and do subscribe to my channel thank you